afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're here in the City Hall in Columbia, Tennessee. Today's Monday, October the 6th. Last week in this City Hall, an exercise of democracy played out. I'm holding almost 7,000 signatures and comments that were presented to the City Manager of Columbia. On the front of this booklet is a big lick Tennessee walking horse. This is a picture of this horse when he was selected in the 2018 World Grand Champion, he was performing to the strains of Dixie. It's running well, time to let him well go. Ah, yes, look away, Dixie Land. We're looking for a World Grand Champion here on Saturday night. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see some heroes, here's some heroes on the front page of this Columbia newspaper. These people range in age from 80 to 15. They come from all walks of life. They don't want animals hurt anymore for the benefit of human enjoyment in this community or any other community. They petition their government and the City Council of Columbia has removed the picture from the wall. We congratulate the city. Thank you so much. I'm holding here the front page of the Columbia Daily Herald from last Friday. It documents coverage of the citizens coming here to the city hall asking that a picture of a big lake Tennessee walking horse be removed that was behind me. The picture was removed and we uh, thank the city. We celebrated the victory and we have hopes that this will never have to be recurred again. We had 7,000 people signing change.org petition in a little over a week. We the people, First Amendment, address the government peacefully, respectfully, and hopefully a good result will occur, which is what happened this time. These are citizens on the front page of this newspaper. They come from all walks of life. They're all ages, from senior to young. The young ones take care of horses and animal rescue. We the people is always the best. Citizens campaign against big lick animal cruelty. Thank you very much. I'm holding here a picture of Mayor Chaz Mulder and Vice Mayor Krista Martin. This is taken at the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama. In 1965, a historic thing occurred with regard to the civil rights movement in this country. People had assembled peacefully to cross the bridge on the way to Montgomery, Alabama. As they went across the bridge, the police attacked them with tear gas, horses, and billy clubs. One young African-American named John Lewis he was born in Alabama. He was beaten to within an inch of his life. Representative Lewis is the finest example of what this country is about. We have here two fine leaders of this community. They have seen the light, as Roy Acuff used to sing. And hopefully they will march forward with progress for their community, with enlightenment, tolerance, but most of all, not to ever give legitimacy again to big lick animal cruelty to the state horse, the Tennessee walking horse. Let me read you something that Representative John Lewis said in Mississippi in 2006 at the dedication of the James Meredith uh, statue at the University of Mississippi. Mr. Meredith integrated the University of Mississippi in 1962. He's from Itala County, Kosciuszko, Mississippi. So am I. Mr. Meredith's father worked for my grandfather who was in the lumber business. His name was Cap Meredith. I saw Mr. James Meredith at that event. We were at his statue. He was standing beside it. And I said, James, your daddy would be real proud of you. James and I spoke for quite a while. The national press didn't know what it was about. But James didn't really care. He, he does what he wants to do. And we were remembering old times back in Natala County, Kosciuszko, Mississippi. So here's what John Lewis said at the dedication of that memorial. I could, I could do this uh, paraphrasing, but I don't want to do this. This is what Mr. Lewis said in, 19, in 2006. This is a day to rejoice, said Rep. U.S. Rep. John Lewis, Georgia uh, representative, who delivered the keynote address. Quote, with the unveiling of this monument, we free ourselves from the chains of a difficult past. Uh, today we can celebrate a new day, a new beginning. 
of a new South and a new America that is more free, more fair, and more just than ever before. Ladies and gentlemen, I suggest that the same thing be applicable to the uh, city of Columbia, Tennessee. Thanks to these leaders, Mayor Chaz Mulder and Vice Mayor Krista Martin. We thank the city council, we thank the city of Columbia for doing the right thing and hopefully never ever going back. To the citizens campaign against big lick animal cruelty, Coblock, we the people, We've been from the Gulf of Mexico. We just came back from Asheville, North Carolina. We've been in front of the White House, Times Square, and Columbia, Tennessee, the largest city. Still the whole of multi-night Big League Tennessee walking horse show, but we protested and the people aren't going anymore. And we're comfortable here. We're gonna be here as long as it takes. Your support is so appreciated and welcome. And a salute today to Columbia. Thank you very much. It's running well, time to let them well go. Ah, yes, look away, Disneyland. We're looking for a world grand champion here on Saturday night. Walk